Hello, it's The Mechanical Player, here to show something really interesting. Jack's top, but I play like the Bouse. And not just the Bouse, though. Because it's Jack's top, we have to put TF Blade, Tiny Top's name in this. And all I have to do is just keep doing this. Perfect. Did exactly what I need to do. So, uh, maybe I didn't even take a health pot. I think that was actually stupid of me. Basically, all, like, Navalene pushes towards me. My whole goal is just to proxy on repeat. The E, I took AP first because I really wanted to just get more damage on my E to do more of the minions. That's like kind of my gimmick with it. He missed some XP. Not enough where it would have been worth the death yet, but we will get there. Yeah, I think phase rush is correct if you're gonna do this build. I think phase is correct. And I think now I just farm under turret. Don't get me wrong, Cole is the most gold efficient. I just think Jax like Jax doesn't have a scion Q that kills the whole wave. I think you need the AP. I don't even think it matters if you get kills on Jax or not. Like, you know how normally the strategy is just never get a kill? I don't even know how much that matters on Jax. Just because Jax will scale so much harder than every other champion. I don't know how much it matters. I do need to figure out what the build's gonna be. It's definitely max E, by the way. 100% max E. Your goal is to one-shot every mage with a fully stacked E. And the only way you can do that is by putting extra points in E. Okay, I got it under turret. Now I can go back. Yeah, so for 100%, I'm putting points in that. We now have 211. Let me see that mage health. Yeah, we basically one-shot the mages. I just need a little bit more AP, and we do. So my idea is we're going to go... Nah, I think we're going to just do books. Nah, we'll do this. And we'll do that. We'll go full books like the Gragas build. Right? Because we have mana. Uh, maybe we don't need it because of Mana Flow Band, though. I'm experimenting, guys. This is my first iteration. We're going to make this a series of where I perfect the Bounce FFS uh, Jax. It's a hybrid between Tiny Top and Jax. Tiny Top and the Bounce. So we're going to see what I can do here. This is now enough to one-shot the mages, by the way. Good. If only the W damage counted as an additional proc for phase rush. If only. Hmm. I need demo though. I mean, maybe I just go first strike on this build. Or like Summoner's Spellbook. Boom. I really want to be proxying more. I don't want to be laning against him at all. That 
That's actually awesome. Okay, I figured out the first hurdle, which is one-shot the minions. Okay, there we go. Let's get more cooldown. Let's see. That should be good. Now I can TP with full health. We can just win this now. Like, Jack surprisingly has a lot of damage. Oh my god! Anyone else see that? Anyone else see that? <laughs> Yo, just me, bro? Just me? What is going on, bro? I I cracked the code on something. Oh my AP damage, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's actually really good. Wait, it's actually really good. Oh, it's actually really good. It's actually really good. <laughs> Another book, pardonnez-moi. Another book, sir. Pardonnez-moi, shopkeeper. <laughs> this is disgusting, bro. Oh my god. Pardonnez-moi. <laughs> uh... And just saying, no, no, I do not speak French. Uh, what is it? I don't even, I forget. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's get more plates, guys. <laughs> mm, this is really good. This is really good, bro. It's actually really good. Look at this. Ten minutes, three plates, by the way. Just go ahead. Psych kill. Uh, it does. But I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I really want. Let's try this. And then the next one, does that go into Lich? Good. We'll do that in Lich, and we'll just run around hitting him. We'll do hit and run, Jack. Five hundred damage.
I really need anti-heal. He's healing too much. He's healing too much for me, so he's able to run through it. I need anti-heal. He's out scaling it. I also need to jump on him earlier so the minions turn on me so we do double the damage on it. Like, I need to really pop him if we're going to do it. Like, my E's have to be, like, so deadly he doesn't want to fight me anymore. That's the only way it's going to work. He's on Rift, so we should definitely get Dragon. It's actually really fun, though, guys. Uh, I highlight, like, the E is really stupid. There we go. Yeah, bro. Oh my god, dude. It's just ignite, ignite, ignite. Okay. I'm trying to think of where I can go here. I mean, Merc Treads are just a better anti sork. I'm just going to get anti-heal now. I can't have him healing every stupid fight. Because because he's healing every stupid fight, I literally don't get to do anything. He's just healing through my burst, and then he doesn't care. That's the problem. He just heals through it all. So, like, he doesn't feel pressure when I deal half of his health in the one combo. Boom. It's such a turn, though. Like, did anyone see that damage is in? I just took him out. I clocked him. No, but yeah. Okay, here we go. A Q does not have an AP ratio anymore. Wow. One-shotting melees, bro. Let's quickly finish this turret before he can come back. He has no TP, so... That's not really an issue. There we go. Yeah, maxi is definitely the way to go. Genuinely, like, it is so much damage, though. Like, it's it's a little ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous, guys. Where, like, going full AP because of this 1 AP ratio is, like, legitimately on the table. <laughs> he played it right. He understood. I just couldn't get closer to him because, uh, what do you call it? You're fine, Zach. You're fine. Actually, no, you're not. There's no turret. He walked into it. 
Oh. Hi, Blitch, though. The burst on this build is reprehensible, guys. The burst on this build is absolutely reprehensible. Ezreal, how did that Jax burst feel? How did it feel, bro? How did it feel? And that's not even with Zork shoes, bro. It's not even with Lich Bane. Like, there's a lot of stuff we haven't built yet. Just really good, dude. Maybe I just go Ludens. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just go full magic then, bro. Boom. Boom. And we just keep every single wave. We just we put our E up and we put them down. It's the push is just undeniable. I think after Lich we get Holebreaker, by the way. I think it's Holebreaker after Lich. Wait, can I? Oh, I was gonna say, can I actually get out? But no. It's 400 damage right now. So we'll do this and we'll do some that. I think we'll be good. Let's see what we can do. I'm having so much fun though, for real. I never want to actually like be fighting, right? But one down. Okay, I got enough. I stopped the game from being lost. I'm going top. There we go. And let's get this going. Oh my god, dude. So, I like this. We need hole, though. Boom. Boom. And we took a glove. And we're out of here. I don't want to fight him, per se. I do want to get hole, though. One, I'd like more AD. Two, let me go there. Two, the damage increase on turret with especially Demolish is just broken. Three, after hole, I think I'm going to go just a straight up Rabadons or a Zonia. I haven't decided yet. But it's going to be something good. Actually, incredible, guys. Just stop their backs, bare minimum, you know?
If only. If only. I brought three back, though. If I got him, too, that would have been great. Now with Hole, I'm actually tanky. I actually think Lich Bay might be a bait. I think you just do one AP item, and then you go Trinity. No, you can't do Trinity because of the Andres. What, what AP item could I go that would basically get me everything I want from the AP? What's an AP item? I, Jax does not want Nashers. I can't imagine you would want Menashes. You want something that's just like, boom, in your face. What if it was, unironically, what if it was Shadow Flame? We're going to do this. And then we're going to go Trinity. We're going to sell Lich for Trinity. I think that's what we're going to do. And Jax likes health. He likes Magic Pen. It kind of fits everything about what he's trying to do here. I, we might lose the AP on Adaptive, but it's really not that much. It's only like 30 AP. I think this is what Jax wants. I think this is big. What's his build? He went full anti-MR. <laughs> you let me know, bro. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Got the inhib. Whew. Suck on that, bro. Get wrecked. Um, I think now... Okay, I think the ideal build is a Shadow Flame because it gives you Magic Pen. Um, and Jax has a good amount of magic damage. All three of these abilities are magic damage. You go Sorks because it's just OP. Maybe Ionian. Maybe Ionian. Um, this, if you're dealing with heavy sustain, yeah, I got, I got top now. And you go Trinity because his base AD is just too overpowered to not, like, this is never going to compare to a Trinity just based on levels. Like, my Trinity would be doing so much more, so Lich Bane's never the answer. Um, that's how it's looking thus far. That way I can have some more consistent damage too. Um, phase Rush seems nice. I haven't really gotten good use out of it. Let me see it, Ezreal. There we go. There we go. So we now have enough push where it's like legitimate. Please just push this wave, dude. Zerath, they have no Baron. Just help me out, bro. Be on my team. There we go. What are they doing, bro? They just can't help themselves sometimes, bro. No cannon, no cannon. I just gotta run. Uh, it has a lot of movement speed because of this, though. Which I can't deny, like, it's helping. I think someone's coming around this corner. Okay, if they're going dragon, as long as Zin, like... There we go. I just don't want to deal with Zin Zhao, guys. There we go. Huge push. They have to deal with a bot and hib. One of them's taking dragon probably right now. Boom. It's done. Now they're gonna back. I don't even think they have Baron recall anymore. That's another one. Got you. Come on, 
movement speed. Come on, movement speed. Nice. Okay, we're doing it proper. Doing it proper. Uh, the movement speed's nice. I just think Trinity base movement speed would be better. Um, the mythic we're gonna get is obviously gonna be Trinity. We're gonna get rid of this, and now going to look for our final item. I think we might just go. Is there anything mage I want? No, I think. I think we just ditch that completely. And I think we just go Shoujin at the end. Absolutely. Man, our team couldn't even get Baron. Now I really can't push that anymore. I should have just TP'd and cleaned up. Where's Azur, I thought? That's crazy. Okay. We have a bunch of supers up top. I lost my TP for no reason. Just full victor. He only hit once then. Hmm. Maybe they can actually stop this. Ash is really tough to encroach on. My ult is a lot less magic, but... There we go. And I'm out. Okay. What can I do here? I think I just have to back door the inhib. I have decent cooldown reduction. Not as much as I'd like. That's what I thought, Zim. Why can no one just push mid lane? Why can no one push mid lane, though? I'm about to be level 18. I'd really like to win this game. Who's not there? Aatrox? He had flash, I didn't. We actually got a dragon though, that's crazy. Good, we got one in him. 
Maybe I shouldn't have fought him though, for real. Hmm. We'll take this. Now we have 87, but then we get an additional 24. Is there anything good we can get from this? I think AP is good in the beginning. I think then you have to transition to the actual build. Like, I could do a full AP Jax, and it could look really funny, but it won't be Aatrox. If it was against something that didn't have as much sustain in top lane, that wasn't as bulky, of course I'd just stay AP. Like, if it was like an AD carry or something. But I need to think about what my next move is for this. No, what if I just did this? For real. Just sell it, like, get rid of the anti-heal. Oh, let's go full throttle. I just want to get this in. I know he's upset that I outplayed his ult. There's one. There's two. We get the jungle, and we get the inhib. That's a worthwhile TP. We should get full vision prior now. Now, what can I do? Is there a lot of magic damage? There's quite a bit. I think Wit's End is not a bad endeavor. Wait, get her. What? Guys, what? Wow. I was going to say, come on. Like, if Aatrox actually went into that teamfight and won, I would have been angry, bro. Oh, Baron, we win off Baron. We win off Baron. A hundred percent. If we don't go Baron, we give them the opportunity to take Baron when they have numbers back up. They're stronger than us. The only reason why we have anything going for us is because everyone has to deal with uh, my shenanigans. Got him. And phase rush feels great late game. Wow, though, you get the zoom. So you didn't have to eat away. Like, I was catching him, bro. There we go. GG. Just run it down Jack style. Guys, it's run it down Jack style. To get the W. We'll call it a tiny top. Baus FFS. Hybrid. Let's see how much we did the turrets. No one gets an honor that game. Let's see how much we did the turrets. That was really fun though. Oh, cool. Gold, too. Um, rooms. Oh, damage. Okay. Get rid of all this. Damage of turrets. 20,000 damage of turrets. Awesome. Self-mitigated damage. 50,000. Nice. Damage taken. 50,000. Nice. Um, awesome. Damage of turrets. That's all we cared about. That's incredible. That's actually insane. Yeah, I, I think there is something here. I'm going to have to keep playtesting it. We're going to call this like the Jax journey of learning how to be the Baos FFS on Jax. There's something here, though. Maybe I just do cold start and I, I buck up. You know what I mean? But we need the AP. Like, the AP one-shotting the mage minions makes this viable. Like, every single pick he has, whether it's Ramus W just kills the whole wave. Whether it's Gragas QE kills the whole wave, right? 
he always abuses the fact that they have inordinate wave clear. Like they just, it's too much. So we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna, this is our theory crafting journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Have a great one. See you next time.